I'm working on the shuttle bus again. There's the old red over there. And here's the shuttle bus. Working on the diesel heater. Let me show you what's going on there. I decided to mount it. There's the stove and the fridge. Underneath the fridge here. So I cut a hole in the wooden floor. As you can see, let's lift this up. There's a hole in the wooden floor. Put that back down like this. Without squishing something. There's that. Straighten it out. It'll blow out from here, 90 degree here and here. Or just out, or just straight out. And uh, you got the fuel line going out down through the floor and then back up through a little hole here. And I plan, this is all the line. I plan to put the tank right here on the side, right here. And I have the tank over here, which will go something like this, right out to the side like that, the tank will go there, see? And then I made this cool little bracket out of some scrap I had laying around. Yeah. And I'll show you how that works. I'll now go under the bus. Shuttle bus, that is. Lay down here. Okay, we're under the bus. I got the exhaust coming out here. And uh, I'm not going to be worried about any heat. Let me get it a little bigger. This exhaust pipe gets hot. I'm not worried about this wood here getting hot. Hot because I've done this. This is my third diesel heater I've installed. Been working with them for about three years or so, maybe four. I've uh, never had major problem with any except one time I had one fuel line get too close to this and it melted the fuel line. Well, I, I, so I tied the fuel line off here, so kind of get it away from the exhaust pipe right there like that. Well, this, this is three quarter inch wood right here. So I made this little contraption right here, like I showed you. And what I'll do with that is, it's gonna be kind of like a heat shield. Here it goes, put it right between there. This fits right in there. I'm going to bolt it like that. And so there that is, yeah. See, so I just don't want no heat this passing through and getting in near the fuel line here. So I'm just going to do that. And the distance between the fuel line here and there, I'm not worried about that melting this. But if this got real close, it would melt it. I've had that happen before. And that's the hole where it goes up where you saw. So that's it. Just thought I'd show you that. Now I'm just going to screw these two things right here in. And my little, my little heat shield will be there to kind of protect it. See. And the fresh air intake goes down here and just kind of lays right in here right for now. I'll stabilize it later. That kind of just lays right there. The exhaust, it's just sitting here like that, see? Well, the exhaust is just uh, sitting here. Something like that. And that'll be it. Over and out.